So, all right, hopefully we can see each other see ourselves. I can just see your hands. I can't see your, it's like here. All right, yeah. good. That's perfect. Okay. So, all right. So what we have here are we have three different solutions, right? And we have three beakers of distilled water. Um, we have this dialysis tubing, um, which is in your lab. It'll tell you about, you know, what that dialysis tubing actually does. In each one of these um, dialysis tubing, um, I don't know what you want to call it, but we made... Um, uh, you'll see. We made <laughs> tubes that we can hold this solution in. So we're going to fill. Got it. I think so. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this to work. There we go. The the so that tube is full. I got right here. Okay. Do you want? Yeah, here, here, why don't you try or else. No. So sorry guys, we're not used to making these uh, lab videos, but we'll get, I guess we'll get better. All right, so we're gonna weigh it first. Okay, so let's just get the or dry it first. Yeah. And then I guess see if that because I feel like that's pointing that way. Um yeah, but it's got the it's got the uh Okay, because we need to yeah. write that down. Uh but what we can't see is is the weight. So I feel like so that weight is, oh, we can't see it. All right, so maybe we got to tell them what the weight is. Shoot. That stinks. Yeah. Like even if we no, move this look. close, can I move this close? Like if I go like this, even if I put it right on it. Oh, now I see it, but it's backwards. Is it backwards for them or is it just backwards for us? I don't know. I guess we'll watch at the end. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good. All right, and we're going to yeah. do this all at the same time, though. So we'll hold this here. Yeah. All right? Yep. All right, so solution two. Same thing, 10 milliliters. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we can see everything. Looks good. And let's get that weight. Oh, let's see. We got to get the glare. Ugh. Hold on. There we go. 1108. Good. Okay. And solution number three. Opposite. <laughs> and we are at eleven seventy five, seventy one. All right. So now, um, what we'll do is we're going to put each one of those um, dialysis tubing filled with each solution into the distilled water um, where they will sit for, how long did we say? 20 minutes. Um, and then at the end of 20 minutes, we will record the new weights. All right, so I can end it there, right? Okay, yeah. right there, and then we could do another one. Yeah, so now I kind of put like it I together. Set a timer for 20 minutes. Oh, wait, it's actually still going. I don't know if I can. No, I can't. I got to stop it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to connect the two videos I would say together. You can keep it going. 
And yeah, just let it add, go. Can we, edit, can we edit out? We the, can edit out the yeah, time. Yeah, keep it, keep it going. All right, well, it's still going. Yeah. All right. Yeah, okay. and then we'll edit out the time. All right. Yeah. I wonder. Actually, like them, I feel like we can let it go for a half hour, so it actually does more. Yeah. As opposed to actually, let me plug this. Actually, my timer's on for thirty-one right now. So. Boom. Oh. I feel like a sheet of one. I can't. I feel like we have the sound. We muted at least two. Or? Um, that we might be able to do. It doesn't matter anyway. We're cutting it all out anyway. Oh, that's true. Yeah. There was the one shot in the library too, but it would be completely random. They'd be like, yeah. That's how it was supposed to be. Ms. Banks talk about random restaurants for. Yeah. Some guy named Bruce is an asshole. I don't no. know. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, so he sold it to the accountant? No, he sold it to uh, a oh, family the, member the, or a friend oh, of uh, Sam Asbell, who is a, a lawyer. Um, but yeah, he's like crying, like, oh my god, I didn't get what I wanted, and da da da, and this and that. I was like, dude, I can't hear it no more. Yeah, I'm like, you're talking to two guys one who just had cancer, another yeah. one who lost his son, and, and both of us live paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, and you're you're crying about walking away with hundreds of thousands of dollars, yeah. dude. Like, I don't want to hear it. You never do anything, right. Right, just the fact that you were able to have a job for forty-five years or own a business yeah. and never have to even own a business enter. that you never even took care of. Right, you never like even you had to enter the building. Done. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's so. But my, I guess my follow-up is like, what's the dude who bought it going to do with it? It's apparently he is one of the owners of the pub. Okay. So he's going to keep it the library too. Okay. And and you know at least that's good news. Like I was waiting for yeah. him to be like, and it's going to be. And he sold it to Cooper, who was going to knock it down and make more yeah, yeah, right. I don't know how true it is, uh -huh. you know, because I, I don't always believe everything Bruce says, but he said that he negotiated that everyone keeps their job for at least one year. Okay. Um, and he negotiated Paulie's salary as well, which is a little bit higher than what Bruce was paying. Okay. For one year. Okay. So they at least get it for a year. Yeah. You know? Um, but yeah, but Paulie's got to figure something out. That's rough because I feel like that's not. No. Nah. I don't know. I was like, that's not secure. No, it's not secure at all. Yeah. I told Paulie, because listen, Paulie never went to school. He doesn't have any kind of anything. So I was like, dude, I'm like, what you need to do is right now is start taking classes. Like, yeah. do like a two year program to be like a radiologist or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and then once you get in a hospital, you can move. Yeah, exactly. Like, but and to me, then you go to school only to get other things to get another job. Like I would definitely recommend that too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think that's what Paul needs to do. Yeah. Or even, I don't Something. know. I don't know. Is he like, like to me, like fucking like HVAC is oh, yeah. like a cash cow. But uh, I feel yeah. like if you don't want to do that. Like, like no, if you I'm don't sure. want to work like manual labor, then it's not. No, no. Bad. I don't think Paulie has a problem with that. I think Paulie's uh, just. He doesn't have any training on anything. Yeah, so that's you know what I'm saying. Like, even go for training for that. Yeah, like, go electrician, it. Yeah. HVAC, like, exactly. go get all that done. Then you're yeah. like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's so not going to kill on him, but at least, like, you could probably do it, like, do stuff in the morning and not, like, if the restaurant does open, like, still, but I've started making an morning, plan. As taking a, classes or yeah. doing something that's going to be right. That's what, like, somebody says. Because something like, tells me once that, once that year's up, they're going to get rid of everything. Yeah, like, I would, yeah, that's not secure. Exactly. So. Who even knows if they like just yeah change it to something else? Like I don't know. Yeah. yeah. So who knows? Yeah. But to get somebody said something about like like things you should realize from after this of like what jobs are secure versus what ones aren't. And like if you're in a place where you're like picking a career, like that you pick one that yeah that isn't that isn't going to be influenced by like these kinds of things so well honestly i mean that's that's one of the big reasons why i became a teacher yeah you know what i mean i, I wanted something that was some sort of security had yeah. some sort of like end game yeah. you know what i mean like you know the library had nothing bob used to say it all the time like yeah don't count on this place like yeah. this isn't he used to tell he told everybody yeah you know um people like me and you yeah. took the advice yeah. And people like Michelle didn't, and I feel yeah. bad for Michelle because I love her. Yeah, you know I what know. I mean? But she just didn't do anything. You know, That's Scott too. Yeah. You know, Scott's almost fifty. Yeah. Like, you know, 
And that's like really weird too, because his dad, which I guess he kind of like has taken up on now. But even that, like racing isn't like look what racing got shut down in this. Right. But like doing all the timing and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. But I feel like if Scott does want to get out of bed. Which I mean, the the schedules don't don't help, you know, like. No, but yeah, Scott. Uh, yeah, but I mean, there's there are so many times that we have plans, and like Scott would just be like, didn't get up, and like just totally like oh, yeah. whatever. Yeah. He didn't show up to football games. He paid, yeah. you know, he yeah. paid all that money for tickets. Exactly. But, you know, and I, don't get me wrong, I love Scott too. You know, yeah. but you know, dude, he's fifty now. Like he's, yeah. he's. I don't know. That was one of the things too, which I was like, cash is mine. But like, when you see like Marge, like to me, I was like, this is not what you want to do for. No. Yeah. yeah. You know, and even Joanne. I mean, she had her little niche. You know what I mean? Of doing in the office and yeah. everything, and it worked out for her, but. You know, if something happened to that restaurant, she's yeah. lucky that it lasted for as long as it did. Yeah, takes, exactly. You know? um, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. So is she still there? Or? Yeah. Yeah. She's uh, now what he's planning on with her. What's Angelique going to do? <laughs> she's another one. She's got no skills. Yeah. Do you remember when she left for a while yeah. and worked at that she's place and she couldn't manager. handle it? Yeah. I feel like she was a manager there, right? Yes. Yeah. She couldn't handle it. Yeah. Um, you know, so she's definitely not going to be able to manage in another restaurant. Yeah. Because um, she's got no skills. She's yeah. never learned how to do anything in the restaurant, actually. Yeah. Um, so I don't know what she's going to do. Who knows? You know? Yeah. Because they ain't going to keep paying her her salary for what she does. She yeah. never opens, she never closes. Like, how she managed it? Right. You know what I mean? Like how she managed to set herself up in this little. Because they, they allowed it. They let it go. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was the same. Well, no, actually, Kevin closed. Yeah. At least Kevin closed. Um, she, yeah, she, she doesn't know how to open or close. You know? And when I say open, like, if I say that to her, she'll be like, I open every day. No, no. no. Come in at 2.30. Yeah. Like, 2.30 the is not up. opening. Yeah. Yeah. Come, opening is being there at 10 30. Yeah. Making sure all the cooks are there. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, oh, I showed up at the restaurant. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of people who like, what are they gonna do? Jenny too. Like, which I mean, Jenny's yeah. still young enough where she yeah. can figure something else out. I don't yeah, I would hope see, that's, she's like another one too. Because I'm like, oh, yeah, you can borrow a pen someplace else, whatever. But like is that your end game? Like at what point? Like yeah. what Jenny's getting, you know, she's in her what, mid to late thirties now? I think so, yeah. Right. So she's I feel like she I would say like probably like late. I don't know. I feel like she's a lot younger than me, but like it, so probably like yeah, like mid thirties, I would right, give her like, right, yeah, like, like her thirty five, thirty three to thirty six in that area. Fall, right. she would fall, yeah. So she's another one, like you know, what do you yeah. what's she gonna do? You know, there's a lot of people. What are you? What is that person gonna do? Um, I don't know. As goofy as he was, even Big Dave knew like this yeah. ain't gonna last, and he went to get something else, you know. Um, yeah, so I don't know. But Paulie's in that boat too. And Bobby told Paulie when Paulie first started working there. Bobby's like, "Listen, Paulie, start taking classes. You yeah. have time in the morning. Yeah. Start taking." He's like, "I don't care. You go to classes to be an accountant, whatever." Yeah. Get something because you can't count on this place. Yeah. You know? So they, wait, Bobby tired or are they like forced retired. retired or? No, he was hired. Okay. Listen, what he was doing at the, the last few years was sapping as much cash as he could out okay. of that place. He didn't fix anything. Yeah. He didn't give a shit what was going on. The kitchen was a mess. The, the, nobody cared about anything. Um, and he was just trying to get as much money out of that place as he could. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and then what happened? And he finally said, fuck it. He's like, you know what? After Kevin died, you know, he was like, I'm not gonna go down that same way. Okay. You know what I mean? I'm just not. And I don't I don't I don't need this anymore and I don't want yeah. it anymore. And he and he okay. left. But then Bruce still paid him for two years. Shut up. Two years. I don't consider him someone who really like worked. No. There. Paulie, Paulie, and that's one one of Paulie's gracious. He's like, you know what, Bruce? He's like, when Kevin, after Kevin passed away, you know, Janet still got his paycheck for a year. Yeah. When Bobby retired, he still got paid for two years. Yeah. Paulie's like, that's for Bobby, that's three hundred grand. For yeah. Kevin, it was a hundred and whatever. Yeah. Like, and now, now I got nothing. Yeah. Like I'm just, you know, 
because uh, you didn't make enough yeah. money on your sale. Yeah. You know? Yeah, he didn't. Yeah. The, the conversation yesterday was not the way Bruce thought it was going to go. Yeah. He thought we were all going to be like, oh, oh Bruce, I'm so sorry, sorry for you. No, more. I'm not sorry for you at all, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I busted my ass in here for 70, yeah. 80 hours a week. So you could sit on your ass and yeah, do nothing. So you do nothing. So you can go around <laughs> yeah. take pictures of where Right, and now yeah. I'm supposed to feel bad for you? Yeah. Fuck like, out of here. Oh. I told him, I was like, dude, you have zero concept of reality. Yeah. You don't know what reality is. You've never been in a position where you like had to work yeah. to make your to pay your bills. Yeah, I always you know? feel like like how did it you did you get lucky like owning the library? His parents bought it. Oh, okay. So yeah. that makes more sense. Because that's yeah. what I'm like, how'd you get into that? Like this cash cow that you have. Nah, well, he got lucky that the place turned into a cash yeah. cow like it did. Yeah. But it's it was completely, you know, not his doing. You know, yeah. he just got lucky. Yeah. And actually when when Bobby first got there, the Dwyers were stealing from him uh-huh. like crazy. Really? They had two register tapes going. Yeah. And Bobby figured it out. Oh. And really? Cause, yeah, because Bruce was actually Bobby told me he figured it out, but I just somebody else had to. Have I just like, I just found out that like who I'm was sure Bobby being that smart? Who told me? Damn, somebody told me they're like Bobby didn't figure that no, out. No, I feel they're like Bobby. Did it was like one of the bartenders. Bunch of connections missing. Yeah, one of the bartenders that was working uh-huh. at the time was like, "Yeah, do you you know what's going on here?" Yeah, because I guess Bobby flipped out about like you know he would flip out. Yeah, and one of the bartenders was like, "We're not." St- we're not yeah. like giving drinks away. Yeah. They got two register tapes going on. Yeah. Yeah. And then Bobby That's, always said that he's the one who figured yeah, it out. No. Um, but yeah, because what happened was Bruce was, wasn't was making money in the yeah. beginning. He called Bobby, who was in Arizona at the time, uh-huh. to because he knew he trust Bobby. Okay. Could you come in and help me out? Yeah. And then Bobby came in and helped them out. And then... I guess from Bobby just yelling at everybody, it came out that there yeah. was <laughs> somebody always knew something. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the same same deal too. He was I, good at like, that. I knew Jeff Rierick was like stealing money, oh, but right. I was like, I'm not going to be the one to like, I'm not yeah, going to like throw yeah. somebody under a yeah, bus. Yeah. But I feel like if you sat me down and screamed at me, I'd be like, you want to know something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you're yelling at me, like, and that's how he yeah, because yeah. he what was like because I was like so many people cash like you get four drinks. She's like, oh, that's twenty two twenty dollars in my head. I'm like. It's not sixteen fifty, yeah. and like somebody would give him a twenty five, and that would just go right in his pocket, mm. and you never bring it up in the first place. Oh wow! Yeah, wow. But I mean, he got canned shortly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that that gig didn't last too long with him. Yeah. I don't know what I don't know why he got fired. Though. I don't remember. I, don't remember. I remember him calling me like complaining, but like I already knew. I knew it was in the works, kind of deal. You know, he got into some weird stuff too as a teacher too. Well, that's why I remember you were telling me about that, yeah. and then I couldn't find anything. Like a kid accused him, or yeah. Kid accused him, and then the, like some picture showed up. Some like, picture showed up with him, like it was like a picture of him, like in the school, like leaning against the locker, like this. Yeah. And they photoshopped the beer in his hand, oh. and like an <laughs> eggplant right here, like this. <laughs> like, <laughs> God. Yeah. Yeah. But even Chris told me. Uh, oh, Chris is in rehab, by the way. Good. So he finally went. Which okay. Is, is this like his first? Yeah. Okay. Um, but uh, Chris told me this is years ago because Jeff Rierick first started working in Camden. Yeah, he was buying drugs from his students. Shut up. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, and then he then he got however he got moved or, or got a job at Washington Township, Township. Yeah, school, which is where supposedly something made it happen to him and a student. You know. Shit. Does anyone hear from him again or no? No. Nah. No, Chris says it. Chris, I feel like he left and then he came back, right? I think so. Like he wasn't there the whole time. No, dude, Jermisi's big and fat. Shut up. Yeah, he's huge. He's round. No, I thought he was the cutest boy too. <laughs> oh yeah, he used to get all the girls. <laughs> yeah. He's good looking guy. Good looking yeah. guy. Oh my god. Round. <laughs> round. That's crazy. Yeah. Back in the day. Yeah. Billy's still married to uh, what's your name, Jen? Jen. Yeah. So, uh, Billy, he's all he'll always like buy somebody's Eagles ticket. If, yeah. And so all the all the guys who we tailgate with know him, right? So <laughs> I hadn't seen him for a while, uh-huh. and he shows up at a game. And he got really heavy. Now he's oh. lost. He's lost the weight oh, since okay, then. I you say I was like Billy was on a bad path because he was always like, oh, the wings, yeah. and, and, and it's like, dude, your metabolism is going to slow down yeah, soon, yeah. and you're not going to be able to eat like this. Yeah. And it never stopped him because I saw her and Jen got big. Too. Yeah, she did. 
Yeah. yeah. Well, he's he lo- he didn't lose at all, but he lost a lot of it. He okay. was like to the point where he like his skin was like swollen. When like he, he was looked like you're right. Like, yes. Like, yeah. like, and I just it just hit me, and I opened my mouth. And I was like, Jesus Christ, Bill. <laughs> You. Oh right. my God! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh. And I said something about like, dude, you gotta put the wings down or something like that. And uh, then like the next week, Jay's brother-in-law Brad, who uh-huh. has tickets for this, he was like, dude, you're fucked up. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, as soon as you see Billy, <laughs> first thing that you're <laughs> like, like, what the hell happened to you? That's He's terrible. like, you can't say that. I was like, dude, I didn't even think. Like it just popped out. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. Because I feel like I think I ran into. See, I feel like I, I'm kind of good about like playing off. Like I feel like I've run into Jen a couple times, but like it's like one of those things where you're like, it's, and it just like yeah, nope. You're like, mm, I think I know who you are. Sorry, keep walking. <laughs> That's why I love the mask out because I'm like, oh, you am I Kelly or am I not? You don't know, and I'm not pretending like I know you. <laughs> there was a girl who was I saw somebody in high school from high school at Walmart, and she like did that. I was like, dude, I'm not like you. Like we have not spoken twenty some years. Yeah, like yeah. I'm not having a Walmart reunion to like be yeah. asked. Like I was like, well, keep walking with the mask on. But yeah, that was like a weird story with Jen too, because I feel like my brother messed around with her. And, uh, Your brother messed around with everybody. I know. <laughs> oh, so disgusting. Dude, he messed around with every chick in there. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, but it was like that weird thing when she got in that bad car accident. Yeah. That they showed him at my parents' house saying that they that Len was dead. Holy shit. Yeah, it was that. like something weird that they were like. Because the oh, guy who was in the car would have died. Died, yeah. yeah. And that's what they, whoever said something like that they, he was dating her last. And that's what everything. Yeah. She was just a mess. You know? Drugs. Oh partying. yeah, and she was she was a mess. I feel like girls, boys. I feel like yeah, she yeah, was yeah. all like coked up at the town tavern one night, and then I was in a bathroom. I want to say with like Danielle Burkett, some some girl who was also <laughs> wearing the library too. And you're like, oh, you're doing that in the bathroom with the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, like gross. That says a lot. Yeah, exactly. And I'm like, ugh. And then my brother's doing this on the side. I'm like, what are you going with you? Danielle Dark Angela. She moved. She met some dude online okay. and moved to like Virginia okay. to go live with this guy. Wow. Yeah, because she only had the one son. Yeah. Um, and he went into the Marines. For someone went in the Marines? Yeah. Wow. And uh, God, this is crazy because this has been so long now. Like, I'm like, yeah. he's like what? Like 16 uh, now? He'd be no, 22. He's like, he's 22. Oh my God, time is so weird. Yeah. How are we doing, Tom? We're good. I mean, well, it was. Uh, I guess we want to run. Would we want to run to thirty? We could. Okay, because then that that was what I had. I had thirty minutes till my next. Uh, it doesn't matter talk, because so. um, I would say like let it go, so they actually get really good results as opposed to like what right? we have here that we're yeah. trying to run with. Yeah. Like, but I because I said I was like I feel like you and I know how to use dialysis tubing. Right. And that was a little bit of a. Yeah. So that's like, what I kind I'm of saying. feel with them. It's gonna. We got to have it set up. Like I think it should be ready to go with the things tied. Bottom and like side we have explained, yes. like yeah, you got to feel for the opening, but like yeah, 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 yeah I agree. We got to set it up. For yeah, I've never done tie it from the knot to bottom. I feel I've always done string. Me too. I've never yeah. done tie it. I mean, I guess you can. Yeah. I guess you cut them long enough. Actually, I was thinking we could cut them a little shorter. I mean, to tie with the oh like yeah, you, yeah. to tie with itself. Like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it's going to be kind of like a running around thing, like, oh, I'm going to get all these set up. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be a little crazy. What's it that we do? We just leave them in a dish, like in a wet As dish. long as they're in water, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, we could do them the day before, right? I see, like, Maria every now and then. Oh, really? Yeah, but she pretends like she doesn't know who I am. Oh, you want to listen to like this? Super, I'll super tell you something about Maria. Okay. <laughs> right? So, since, so, if you, I don't know if you remember this, but I sort of flirted around with her a little bit. Okay. And um, I got like the I was like no nah, no nah, nah, I don't like this shit. So um, this is like I guess last spring, right? Or whenever it was, I was on dating site. Okay, yeah. And this girl Maria messaged me, and I didn't really recognize her at first, uh-huh. right? And you know we're messaging back and forth, and then um, I was like, oh shit, I'm like. Are you? Did you work the library? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, you know, so now we we, we uh-huh. established that we were, <laughs> we were gonna meet that Saturday, yeah. right? And 
I texted her, I'm like, hey, you know, we never decided on where we were going to meet. We, yeah. we had like a time and everything, yeah. kind of like a general meet for coffee. Yeah. Um, but, you know, wh yeah. wh where did you think? And she never got back to me. That's weird. And then later she got back to me, like later that night or the next day or something. Uh -huh. And she was like, uh, oh, well, you, you, what happened? You're like, you never confirmed with me. And I'm like, but we already, we said a day, like Saturday yeah. at a certain time. Yeah. Like we just didn't pick the place. Yeah. And uh, I don't remember how it exactly went down, but I was like, no, nah, I don't want to talk to her anymore. Because it was like, she plays games. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And, and I was like, no, nah, I ain't going yeah. to talk to this fucking chick. No, I'm, I'm actually glad I'm with, I, I'm glad I'm with Jessica. And I'm glad she kind of like allowed me to, you know, she hung around even though I broke up with her uh -huh. and everything <laughs> else. Like, she's a good girl. She That's really good. is. I mean, she seems really nice. She is. She's good. She's smart. She's, you know, just a good person in general. You know, she's got a good job. Like, yeah. You know, she's trying to figure out what she wants to do though, because she she left the ICU. Okay. But it was beating her up, and now she does. Uh, she's doing like a recovery room. Okay. And she's like, I don't use my brain at all. She's okay. Like, uh -huh. um, she's like, ICU is a little bit much. This I'm not using my brain at all. Like yeah. she's got to try to figure out where she wants to sit. Yeah, I was kind of, I feel like what's the middle? Yeah, I don't know. I think I'd be kidding me that they're gonna make kids pay for for clubs this year. That's what that's what just came out. Like the district office has now opened the portal. School cash online to, to receive participation fee payments. I just don't see. I don't know. Like I, I kind of feel like this is the year to let it let it go. Like you're going to charge kids two hundred dollars to participate in an online club. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Like it'd be different if if it was like the spring. See, to me, it'd be like I, clubs are free, and if you want it, I don't know. I guess because you're paying us, like you have to. It just to me, it seems crazy. Like yeah. I, I had said I wish they like opted. Like I don't want to give up environmental club, but I'm cool if it doesn't run this year and you don't pay me. But there is no. Yeah. Because there's. Like, what do you want me to do? Yeah, I know. I had a girl, uh, Brianna uh, Kahira. Yeah. yeah. She um, she emailed me the other day, and she was like, hey, what are we doing with club? And I was like, you know what, Brianna? I don't even know who's in the club yet. Yeah. Like, I gotta, I'm got. i trying to figure it like, out. I got to understand. Like, I got those little, like, she said, I have gotten zero for environmental club. But they don't tell you who that is, do they? Yeah, it's somewhere on there. Uh, if you scroll around, uh, you can figure out who it is. Um, so I've only gotten like three for yearbook, but to me, like in the past, every person who does this is not, is never in my club. Like the yeah, kids right. who fill it out, I never see them again. Yeah. Like I never see them at the club meetings right. yeah. and whatever. So to me, this is like a really weird way to do this. I guess I can email the kids who were in the club last year and be like, hey, did you still want to participate? But participate in what? I know. <laughs> like, I just think it's crazy to think, I can barely get the kids who are in my classes to do meets with me outside of the school time. Like genetics, I feel like this is a nominally, actually this is actually going pretty much, I this, like I said, sports is pretty good. I think I might just do that one next year. Um, to like have the talk, like they're actually kind of okay with that. Yeah. But I feel like my human, the ones where I was like cohort C, I wouldn't meet with you separately. I think I met with maybe four kids out of 16. Yeah. Wow. And that's why it kind of kills me. They're like, well, I didn't know. And I'm like, I tried to have a meet with you to explain what I wanted, but you didn't show up. So I don't know what to tell you that yeah. you're like. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I hear you. She has her mother's laugh. It's hard Where do I get this? I think I'll just do sports too next year. She has her mother's laugh. I'd like to because it's like he does like different topics. And so it's like a talk about like how like where genetics started. Okay, talks about like Mary Lyon and uh, bar bodies. And then it switches to like CRISPR for like it does yeah. things. So it's like kind of easy to kind of pick different things. And I liked it because I was like, we. Cut, like so many things come back to during the year that we're like, oh, remember he was talking about yeah. that. But I feel it's like such like a bigger book. Yeah. Like the sports one's easy to talk about. Yeah. I guess part of me being lazy, I should have reread it this summer, but I was like, <laughs> so it just didn't happen. Or actually, I was like, mother, and my book that I had the notes in, it was like, this crazy. I always keep things in my front seat, and Dan gets in, and it's like, he can't just sit there. He has to like, so like everything gets tossed in the back, which drives me nuts. So anyway, my the, my book got tossed in the back, and then apparently got wet when I was cleaning out my car. Uh, it was like covered in mold, and I was like, "Thanks a lot, asshole." And he's mm -hmm. like, "You're the one who's who, who keeps it in here," and I'm like, "I know, but I don't throw things in the back because I know it's a pit." 
and like, but it's right. my fault for being messy. But I, but I forgot as I threw it out that I had made, made notes of all the chapters of like questions to ask. So I was like, God damn it, I got to start all over again. <sighs> I just think it's so ridiculous. I feel bad because I told the one girl too. I think she emailed me about yearbook. I was like, I think it's a charging fees this year. But you might want to check. Like that's just. Well, that one's crazy too. The kids have to pay to work on a yearbook. Yeah, like that's nuts, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. That's what I was like. I've in the past, I've had kids, and Doris will be like, "So and so hasn't paid their fee," and I'm like, "I'm not telling them that they have to. Like, you could just do it. I don't care because like no one goes back. Like Doris doesn't look at the yearbook. Like to me, you don't have enough, no one has enough time right. to do this to look at the yearbook to see who sat for it, then to check to see if they right, right. whatever. Like it's. It, I feel like Sue Murphy was very big on like pushing that to make sure like they're in the picture, they better pay the fee. But that was like when it first started. Right, right, right. So I was like, I'm not, I'm not charging Erica. To, the only club she's in is this to like pay two hundred dollars yeah. to do the yearbook for me. Like, yeah. <laughs> no. Then I usually like that's why I was like I'm arguing with Rosemary. Like anybody who does yearbook for me, as long as you continue. If it's if you just start your senior year, like we have scholarship money we can pass out. So like if you do anything for me at all senior year, I toss money at you. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so I feel cool. like even Erica, I think I did 250 for her. The girls who just started this year, I did 254. Usually, if you do a couple years, you get like a thousand or a couple thousand. Mm. Yeah. Brianna did all four years, so I gave her five. I was, like, I was like, I don't care. Like, to me, like, whatever. Like, use yeah. it for books, use it for what I don't care. Yeah. Like, it's so much friggin' work. I'm like, no. Cool. Which Brianna is that? Then, then she, she was here years ago. Oh, I didn't know. She's actually a lawyer now. Really? Good yeah. Friend. Yeah. How are we doing time wise? We can actually probably take them out now. Uh, so I guess we should just video them yeah. coming out and being weighed, right? Yeah, so I feel like right now is when I would pick up mm -hmm. whatever. So. All right, got it. Uh, hold on, let's see. It's so hard to get a good picture. Look, is that 9.95? Yes. Okay, yep. good. Okay. 5.25? Oh, no. 12, right? That's 12. It's hard to see here. Okay, 12.53. All right. Yeah, this, <laughs> I'm, it's, I'm getting a glare. That's oh, a problem. I'm doing this upside down. No, nah, I'm getting a glare. I guess the question was, we but we're saying it, so they all they'll, they could hear what we're saying. That looks like fourteen point six five. Okay, yep. good. Okay. All right, and that's it, right? That's yes. all we need. Yeah, for data wise. Okay, and all right.